Welcome back to more of Little Ninja Brothers, and um, in the last episode we got the uh, fifth prison bell, and right now we are going to head over to the Yoma Chateau, that's uh, northeast of us, in order to get the candle to get the Chatsy. And uh, let's see, first there are going to be a bunch of enemies that we have to deal with, but they're all guys you have seen before. And uh, actually I don't think we've seen these guys, these are the uh, upgraded versions of the birds except uh, they shoot at me. Actually I'm not sure if these ones shoot at me. Yeah I think that's actually one up ahead, and I think I was getting a bit ahead of myself. But anyway, it's a straight pallet swap and uh, those guys are pretty easy to deal with. Saw so one a lot earlier. But uh, moving on, see I need to go up from here. Really all you have to do is uh, follow the river. And like I was saying, uh, the easiest way to uh, know where the Yoma Chateau is is just to follow the river. And uh, well, we'll be seeing you soon enough anyway. So here we are. So under the first door. And uh, you get your basic weasels and uh, you get the birds. Or the eagles. Well, whatever you want to call them. But anyway, uh, this is actually a pretty easy chateau, and uh, a lot of the enemies are guys we have actually already seen before. So, uh, we're not gonna be in for many surprises. Because, uh, right here it's just tigers, and uh, I think they're gonna be purple munchers too. And, uh, the munchers can catch you off guard if they shoot you, so, uh, just make sure you, uh, keep that in mind. But other than that, uh, this room shouldn't give you too many problems. You know, unless you uh, get caught off guard by a bunch of enemy fire. Now this third room can catch you off guard because there are pink bulls and uh, there are also going to be the pink boxes. And uh, those guys can catch you off guard the first time if you don't know they're going to be there. And it's really easy to get hit by these guys a lot. Especially when you got bulls attacking you and whatnot. So let's just get out of here. And the uh, last one is going to be the QP Fox, and uh, we already know what to do with this guy, so uh, let's just kill some clones. Oh, you went to the corner, that was nice of you. Yeah, a little bit more. Yeah, the problem is when you have to chase him around, and uh, sometimes he can uh, take a little bit longer to kill because of that. But now that we took care of all those enemies, we got the candle, and um, the candle is going to show some light. Not all of it, but uh, some of it. Well, we're in dark caves, so uh, I'm just gonna restock, and um, I'll see you soon when we head over to Chatsy, or at least the cave in order to get to Chatsy. And we're back, and um, now I've got eight skateboards, eight sweet buns, a meat bun, and ready to make this journey over to Chatsy. Or uh, first thing we gotta do is just go over to the left. And, um, the way there, there are going to be some really nasty enemies. And, uh, there is going to be a lot of desert terrain that we do have to worry about. And, um, yeah, I think I'll just explain the rest of this as I take care of these guys. But, uh, yeah, the enemies here are going to be quite tough, so, uh, good thing we go there with full items. And, uh, we do need to have all of those items. And, uh, this is one of the things I also mentioned when, uh, I talked about some parts of this game being total endurance tests, and uh, this is one of them. So here we are in the cave to Chatsy, and uh, thanks to the candle, I can at least see something. And um, I also forgot to mention that those pink boxes that used to be invisible, I can see them now. And uh, here's the main gimmick with uh, this cave, is that every fight in this cave is going to be an RPG style fight. So first thing I'm going to do is just get my ally here. That was a nice break. And um, pretty much what I'm going to do is just try and beat him with regular attacks. And um, obviously two heads are better than one, so that's why I want to Ryu over here. And um, just like the same rules apply with uh, all the other boss fights. Now oh, this is not good. Yeah, see that's what happens when he uses the protective shield. 
<laughs> so now both of us just got hit for a lot of damage. Now I'd go figure a stand still and let me hit you on purpose with a shield. And um, I actually think the uh, kicks are more accurate than uh, um, the punches, but I'm not actually sure about that. Well, then again, right when I see that, uh, he ends up getting hit by my punch and not by the kick. Well, actually, he does get hit by the kick. But, uh, the thing with a samurai, he is a very basic fighter, so, uh, you don't really have to worry about any particularly nasty attacks, but you do have to worry about damage building up. And, um, damage build up is one thing that's gonna be a really big problem in this place, because, uh, as you can see, my HP is already. Uh, knocked down pretty heavily, and um, well, the same thing goes for Ryu. And um, this is one of the things I meant when I said uh, this whole thing is kind of an endurance test. Is that damage buildup is going to be a really big problem in this place, and um, it's just because some of these fights drag on, and uh, they do result in a pretty big problem. Alright, well, I don't want to deal with this guy anymore. Alright, well, at least I got out of that one okay. And, um, let's see, the main thing you want to do in this cave is go up. And let's see. I think I want to go left here. Okay, here's the tiger tank, and, uh, to be honest, this guy's way too tough for me right now, and, uh, I really don't feel like getting killed on the way over, so I'm just not gonna mess with this guy. But don't worry, you'll get plenty of chances to see this guy. So now that that's done with, let's just keep heading left. And um, once you see an opening to go up, then I suggest you use it. And I'm not sure if those tiger tank fights are runnable, and I really don't feel like finding out if they're not. So let's just keep going here. And uh, right when you see this opening, you just want to follow it up. And now head over to the right. So here we are on the other side of the cave, and I'm just gonna go ahead and heal up. Because, uh, these enemies are gonna be really mean. And, um, there is gonna be a lot of desert terrain that you have to deal with, and, um... I'm gonna try and stay as close to the grass as I can, because, uh... The, uh, desert is where really bad things happen. And, um... I'm gonna try and run away from as many fights as I can, and I promise you I'm gonna show off these fights later, but I just really don't feel like getting killed on the way over, and that's really easy to happen. And, um, let's see, the upgrade is that these birds shoot at you. I think I, uh, jumped a gun earlier in this video. And also, this guy shows up pretty frequently in the desert. And, uh, I just want to get rid of these guys as quickly as I can. No, I didn't kill him. Okay, well, there he goes. Alright, let's get rid of you. So I feel as if now I should give my thoughts on, uh, Nintendo trying to claim Let's Play videos and to pretty much take away ad revenue. And, um, I really think Nintendo must have really fucked up that this is what they're resorting to. But that's just my opinion. And, uh, if they have to resort to, uh, taking ad revenue from people on the internet, then, yeah, they must really have some pretty big problems over there at Nintendo. I mean, I don't think I have to worry about it, because I'm way too much of a small fry and I'm not in this for the money anyway, but still, people like Josh Jepson, Chugga Conroy, they have to worry about it, and frankly, I think they're getting robbed blind. Anyway, uh, here there's, a. Uh, pretty beefed up dragons and uh, I guess those fuzzy guys from earlier. I want to stay on the grass as much as I can. So now that we're done with that, uh, let's just keep going. It's a pretty tricky path to uh, through the mountains in order to get here. But first, let's see what this guy has to say. And eh, no thanks. Um, those eagles will shoot T-stars at you, so uh, just be aware of that when you're fighting them. 
And uh, this is gonna be one of our next destinations, and uh, we can't do anything about that fire now, but we are gonna learn of a way to put out that fire pretty soon. But I gotta get to Chatsy first. Alright, now that that's done, I really didn't feel like taking any chances, so I'm just gonna heal now. Now well, these mud damn mudmen, I really don't want to mess with these guys, so I'm just gonna get out of here. Okay, I really don't want to mess with these guys. And, uh, what I have to do is go down the mountains. And, uh, I do have to weave here. That's, like, again, kind of... not very lucky. But, like I said before, I really don't want to mess with enemies now. I'd just much rather get to Chatsy as quickly as I can. And, um, I'll show those guys off later. <sighs> Serious. Of course, I am gonna have to run out of skateboards eventually. So, let's see, can I get over here? Okay, good. And after all that, I gotta level up. So good for me. And, uh, let's see, we gotta do a little bit more weaving here. And, um, let's see, just a little bit further, I think. Well, shit, might as well show off these guys now. But anyway, the only difference there is that those uh, eagles shoot at you, and I got caught off guard by lightning, so that's never any fun. Let's see, I think uh, this means we're at the Cave of the Snowfield, so I think I'm almost there. Oh no, I did not want to go in. Okay, that could have been very scary. But anyway, all I had to do is just go a little bit further, and we made it to Chatsy. So let's just talk to some of the locals here, just to see what's up. And, uh, in that Yoma Chateau, there's gonna be a pretty special item that we can use to make our lives a lot easier. And that item's the Drag Star. And that's actually gonna be... and I'm gonna have to abuse the hell out of that at the end of the game, but... We'll just have to see that when it comes, or when it happens. And, um, here at Chatsy, there really isn't a whole lot to do. I mean, this city really isn't in trouble or anything. But you do have to, uh... Now, that's gonna be pretty useful for the end of the game. But there isn't really, uh, anybody in trouble or anything, but this is kinda like a, uh, stopping point for travelers. And yes, we will soon know what that means. And that's gonna be our next destination, is the, uh, snowfield. So let's just go ahead and see what's in here. Um, you can play the eating minigame again if you want to, but I'm just not gonna. And, um, here you do get a chance to, uh, upgrade a few things. And one of them being the fire shield. And, uh, we are definitely gonna need that in the, uh, fire castle. Um, that's why I think I'm gonna wait a little bit. But I am, however, gonna get the fixer. And, um, see, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to... Uh, just rest up for a bit, and then, um, probably just pick up my checkpoint, and then I'll have a bunch of battles to show off. 
And um, I should mention that in the convenience or in the tool shop, you can uh, purchase batteries for the drag star. You can also get a torch that uh, helps you see on that cave or in the snowfield cave. So let's just go ahead and get rid of that. I'm just gonna stock up on sweet buns again, so I'll just see you when I'm done. Also, as I feel as if I should mention that uh, once you get to a town, the uh, whirly bird option is gonna be open, so... Before I hit the snowfield cave, I am going to uh, head back to... I wanna say Shorin or Yokon or one of those places and uh, pick up eight skateboards. So that's just uh, something I needed to mention. Here's one enemy I forgot to show off during the cave, and probably because I was in such a hurry. But here's the uh, QP Fox, yet that same one from uh, the Yoma Chateau and on the way to Shorin. And uh, what he does differently is that he can uh, split into clones. And uh, just like before, he had to use the sword in order to beat him. And uh, these clones can attack, and uh, they don't really do a whole lot of damage, but as I've said before, the damage can really build up here. So this is just something that you didn't see previously, and just one of the many fights I still have to show off. And uh, one thing he can do, he can also uh, shoot projectiles once he comes back to his normal form. But other than that, this guy is definitely the least of your problems when you're in here. So let's just go ahead and finish him off, if we can. And um, they, I don't really know like how they decided like which little clone to attack, but I guess that's just something the game just decided for themselves. Yeah, because sometimes you go to the middle, sometimes you go to the one on the right, sometimes they go to the one on the left. And you can never tell. But, um, see, I still have plenty to show off, and, uh, after that I think I'm gonna call it apart, and, uh, you'll see why. So, that's the end of that fight, so I will see you in Chatsy for some more fights. And here we get to meet, uh, those dragons as well as those purple fuzzy guys. And, uh, right away I have to get my sword out. These dragons will shoot at you, so, uh, this is something you have to be aware of. And, uh, you will probably end up getting a visit from the Minotaur, too. Just when you're fighting these guys. And right when I say that, here he is. He will shoot at you, too, so, uh, just keep that in mind. But that's really the only difference is here. And, uh, the dragons can really cause a lot of problem. And right now they are causing a lot of slowdown. Ooh, somehow I got two for one on that one. Okay, well, I don't like you, so you're... Ah, uh, what? Ah, uh, hitbox betraying me. Okay, well, that one I was just missing. And, uh, the good thing about the, uh, dragon shots is that they don't cover the whole screen. And, uh, wow, I really got lucky there. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and heal. And um, this is exactly what I meant when I said I didn't want to screw with any of these guys before I end up getting the Chatsy because, well, they're pretty mean, pretty nasty, and frankly, they're total jerks. Such as these mud men that we're gonna end up fighting, and uh, the mud men, what they like to do is they like to uh, come out from underground and, uh, okay, I guess I gotta jump on these guys. Um, they like to come out from underground, and, uh, shoot a shot. And when that happens, it, uh, stuns you. And it also freezes everything. Now oh, that's not funny. And I gotta heal again, so this is going terribly. And, um, let's see, these fuzzy guys I gotta kill with the sword. And... I think in the earlier stage, in the earlier part of this game, the biggest problem with those guys is when they like to knock you into the water. But, uh, here they like to knock you into enemy fire. Now oh, that's not funny. 
And uh, fortunately, the uh, jump on them and then punch them strategy works pretty well. So yeah, I'm probably gonna end up running out of sweet bunch by the time I get done here. We will just have to see. And see, I think there are a few more things I gotta show off. And um, see, I think you already saw these guys before. There's just a little bit more to go. And uh, come to think of it, I might have already shown off everything. But uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and heal up. And um, the main enemies I wanted you to see were the uh, dragons and the mudmen. And um, I think with that, I'm gonna call the video here. So join me next time as we head over to the snowfield cave and just see what's going on over there. I'll see you soon.